that Invitational nearby. The uh, the other one this year is going to be in Las Vegas. Yes, Nevada. sir. I'll be at that one too. And then we've got four more next year. You know, I uh, nothing more I like than uh, dropping all the money I got to travel to these wonderful tournaments. It's fun. We're gonna have a great time in Vegas. We're gonna have a great time in Indy. All right, so we have Green Red Monsters versus Green White Aggro, as mentioned earlier. We have the Planeswalker, one of the newer ones. Xenagos the Xenagos, Reveler. The Reveler. So Xenagos here, not exactly Garrett Relentless, but not, not significantly worse either. It just has, it's different. It's definitely a little bit worse than G Relentless in a few ways. The fight that we mentioned uh, er, way early in the round when we saw Xenagos, the fight ability on Garrick made it much, much better against the aggressive decks. Against the control decks, eh, you don't really care but about fighting. I'll tell you what, Zach Stern's deck is designed to take advantage of this plus one, because right here, he only has three lands, but he has two mana creatures, and then Xenagos yeah. can make four mana. He can actually monstrous his storm yeah. breath dragon here off of three lands not too shabby not too shabby uh, he could I also still, i still think I, I guess if you if you polled maybe these green red players would they rather have fight instead of that plus one I, i'd probably say most would just so it gives you an out to a lot of these problem oh. cards out there there's so many problem maybe. creatures if you want to fight you just play a uh, domri raid or you can actually play the actual fight cards if you want there's a couple of those and we saw one of them in the sideboard, the one mana green fight card, plus yeah. two, plus two. So, all right. So let's say Carlson wins two one over Abraham. That's your boy. That's uh, we have Lucas Carlson, Esper aficionado. So we will we see have him a, tomorrow right. in the top four. You can't see. You can you can kick Esper. You can't beat it all the way down. You can't break the will of the the okay. last control mage. So. Looks like Zach Stern has just added a second uh, two two Seder with haste. And is attacking with those on the ground, Storm Breath Dragon, uh, two Storm Breath Dragons. Now he's doubled up on those in the air. Now here's why, I know we just jumped in this game. Here's why I don't like this attack right off the bat. It's because if your opponent is playing green, white, and says go with five, six cards in their hand. Yeah, uh, four let me mana. Tell you, let me tell you a little secret. There's he's going to be putting a worm in play. So you got to make sure you, if you're if you're attacking, you're really willing to trade two for one of your tokens here and then get your planeswalker killed on the swing back by yeah, one and given how many cards he has in hand yeah this is going to be a disaster for zach he's just going to come back attack and xenagos is now going to get hit well but he doesn't have still enough still got to deal with the storm breath dragon oh he actually don't have a, no he doesn't have enough meat to to get through he has a uh, three can absorb three of it only deal two to xenagos oh the karyatid with three toughness yeah we didn't see the carrier it was a little bit off the screen but uh that'll be enough to but save yeah. it but he also needs an answer here to Eight God, power a, in yeah, the this is actually this Does game is an no, we jumping in late it looks like josh is uh, mana starved no is, answers he has a, I can he has a see. celestial flare i think no is, is that trustani that's trustani he does have three celestial flares on the board he could yeah. have brought in i think he's holding one he's in his got hand. two druids deliverance which is not bad fog and make a Oh, that's, that if he has that, then that's yeah. going to be the, the answer. Make another there. worm token. How much mana does he have, though? Can he just... Uh, four mana. So he can just uh, uh, monstrosity and deal pretty much five, six damage. Is oh, you're talking too. about Zach Stern? Yeah, Zach can just monstrosity. And he's got five mana, plus he can make three off of Xenagos. Yeah, so he can monstrosity. Even if Josh has the fog, he can just monstrosity, then untap monstrosity. Yeah. Josh getting stuck with too many cards in his hand here against Storm Breath Dragon. Don't see that ability come into play very much. No, definitely not. Usually it's uh, just maybe deals one or two. Seems more important that it becomes a 7-7, but here those dragons are going to deal a lot of damage off the trigger. Oh yeah, this is going to be a beating. And Josh can't do anything about it. Selesnia Charm doesn't work. Pro White. Celestial Flare, they have to be committed to combat. So, yeah, he, he plays out a Fleece Mane Lion and a Temple Garden. I think his best hope here is, is if he has a Druid's Deliverance. I mean, that's, to fog, that's about it. There's make not much else. Arm. Druid's Deliverance is a fun card in this deck. I mean, it's just sweet. And Zach chooses to make another... Seder here. Okay, maybe we forgot about Drew's Deliverance. Uh, no. Oh, no. Game over. Okay. All right, so we have our top four, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Jeremy Stowe. 
with mono red is through. Adrian Sullivan with red white aggro. Lucas Carlson with Esper Control. And now Zach Stern. So both with green white green, decks. Green red monsters. Uh, defeated in the top eight. Uh, won, of course, by Esper Control and won by the monster deck. That's going to be an interesting matchup because Esper.